I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on factoring applications. Area of a square is given by the expression 49 minus 28x plus 4x square. Determine all possible values of its perimeter if x is a positive integer. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. We are given here that the area of a square is equal to 49 minus 28x plus 4x square. That is what we are given. And what do we need to find? We need to find the perimeter. And what is perimeter of a square? Perimeter of the square is 4 times the side length, right? Since all four sides of a square are of equal length, perimeter is four times the side length. So let's consider a square here. Now if S is the side length, let us say S is the side length, then the perimeter is 4S. What is area? Area is S square. So area square of this, right? Since all the sides of the square are equal. So we need to find the perimeter. And what are we given here? We are given that x is a positive integer. So we are also given here that x is positive integer means it is greater than 0, that is positive, and x belongs to integers. You could write z or i. That's what is given to us. So that is to say x can have values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on like natural numbers. Okay, so that's the question. I hope the question is absolutely clear. At this stage, you can actually pause the video and answer the question. Now let us see the factored form of this trinomial which is area equals to 49 minus 28 plus 4x squared. 49 is 7 squared. And 4x squared can be written as 2 times x, 2x whole squared. And this becomes twice 7 and 2x. So we could factor this as 7 minus 2x whole squared. Is that clear to you, right? So this can be factored as 7 minus 2x whole squared. Now area is 7 minus 2x whole squared. We know area is side squared, right? We know area is side squared. That means each side length is 7 minus 2x. Is that okay? So here what we get is that the side length S is 7 minus 2x. That's what we get. Now we have found side length in terms of a variable which is x. And what is x? x could be any number uh, like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So let us substitute these values to find all possible values of the side first, right? So it says determine all possible values of perimeter, okay? We'll get to perimeter, but let's find possible values of side, okay? So if x is 1, if I write x equals to 1, in that case side will be equals to 7 minus 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2, 7 minus 2 is 5, right? If x equals to 2, in that case side length will be 7 minus 2 times 2, which is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3. If x equals to 3, side length will be 7 minus 2 times 3, which is 6, and so it is equal to 1. If x is equals to 4, side length will be 7 minus 2 times 4, which is 8, which will give me minus 1. Well, can the side length be negative? No. So that is not possible, right? So that is not possible. Since side length has to be positive, since S has to be greater than 0, correct? It cannot be negative, right? So we have three possible values. That means these are the three possible values. So we have three possible values. Now based on these three possible values, we can find three possible parameters. 
I hope you get the point, right? So, so based on these three possible values, we can now find possible perimeters, right? So if s equals to, let's say, 5, then perimeter is equal to 4 side, or equal side, so 4 times 5, is it okay? So that is equals to 20. And if s is equals to 3, then perimeter is 4 times 3, that gives us 12. And if s is equals to 1, perimeter will be 4 times 1, and that is 4, right? So... So the perimeter will be 20, 12, or 4. Since we are not given any possible, any units here, we'll just write units, okay? It will have some units. So whatever units are there for the area, based on that, we'll get some units. So our answers are, for perimeter, it could be 4, 12, or 20 units. I hope that is clear. And that is how such questions can be solved. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn. Thank you and all the best.